All right, so whenever you are factoring a expression, there are a lot of things you should look for. You should first and foremost always look for a common factor. So what I mean by that is, is there something that every single term has that we can take out to make our numbers smaller, okay? In general, the smaller the number, the easier the thing is to work with. Next, what you should look for is, is it a trinomial, a, bi a binomial, or does it have four terms, okay? And how many terms there are dictates what your approach is going to be. If there are four terms, that is a fairly sure sign that you are going to factor by grouping. And what you have to do there is pair up a couple of your things, factor out something from each of those, and hope that you end up with the same thing so you can then factor it again. If it's a trinomial, there's a number of different approaches. Maybe it's a perfect square, in which case you can factor it quite easily. Sometimes, most of the times it's not, in which case you probably have a number of different ways to factor it. Some people just like using common sense and thinking about it. Some people like a box method, some people like a diamond. There's all different ways of looking at it, but the main thing is taking these three terms and factoring it down. And lastly, if you have a binomial, if you have two terms, you're either going to be looking at the difference of squares, so you have something squared minus something else squared, or the difference or sum of cubes. So if you have something cubed plus or minus something else cubed, and we have special formulas for each of those. So basically, factoring. Always look for your common factor to take it out, and then once you have that, there's just a number of things we have in our, in our toolbox in order to factor it down even more.